I am Sarvesh and today we will be viewing the goalie system game between George Skoltenowski and John James Handler. So let's begin. The first move is d4 and d5 as usual. Then knight f3 and knight f6 to develop the knights. And next one is e3 and e6. So basically what you can say for e3 is for the bishop to come out for developing the bishop too. So the next move is bd3. The next will be usual in c5. The next is c3. Knight c6 to develop the other knight. We do knight bd2, a usual Kole move. He does bd6. Okay. So next move we do is we castle. Castle. And then what we do is we take the c5 pawn. Bishop takes two and we do the e4 awesome attack. The next move will be queen to c7. And since John James has moved his queen, Koltanowski also moves his queen to e2. So after this, he does rook e8. So rook e8 is to attack this space. It's like an x-ray attack. So yeah. So then what we do is we move along since the queen can't cut because we have our knight. So the knight if uh, James does something else he would lose his knight. So he wouldn't want to. So he moves to d7. After he goes to d7 we do a smart thing. Knight b3. The purpose of this move is to since the knight went back we will have this bishop troubling us again and again. So we would want the bishop to go to b6. So, just that Koltanowski wanted the bishop to run away. That's funny, right? So, then we go to bishop goes to b6. And next move is bishop to f4. The purpose of this move is, since there is like rook, a queen attacking and two knights attacking, we needed one extra piece to support. So then, and f6, that's a great move by Hanlon, I think so, I don't know. And the next move for f6 is since that the knight is attacking, the other knight is attacking, the queen attacks and the rook attacks and even f6. So what we do is we move the rook. For the rook, the purpose is to support this extra because since too many pieces are attacking, it won't be right. The next move is knight takes e5, knight c. So the next, we also take the knight. Knight takes. So after these takes, we do the Greek gift move. It is bishop to h7 check. The king moves to f8. And now what we do is we do bishop g6. Bishop g6 is a basic move to attack the rook. So that the rook goes to rook d8 after rook d8 we bring our queen to h5 the king has almost nowhere to go so the king moves to e7 after king e7 the next move is knight d4 after knight d4 what we he does is bd7 to develop the remaining thing and we take rook e5. This is an amazing move by Koltanowski. I mean like who would even sacrifice a rook for a pawn? So the purpose of this move is in the next move when f cross e5 and bishop takes the queen can't take as the queen would take again. Like for example queen takes queen takes. That's not wanted right? So the queen then hides in queen c4. After this move, this is an advantage because we also move to queen h4 for check. The king with nowhere to go moves back to king f8. At this move, this is a lucky chance for us to make a check with a black bishop by doing bd6. After bd6, it's a check. The king has nowhere to go and so the king goes to g8. Do you realize the one move mate? Think about it. You are correct. The move is 
queen h7 checkmate queen h7 is a checkmate as the king can't move here nor can he cut the queen nor can he move here or here or anywhere and his pieces are just lying around with no i mean they have support but they have, none of them can save the game so that's all for today guys thank you please like share and subscribe